Hi, this video is how to use the Comcast X1 DVR. The Infinity X1 is a new Comcast system, which is fantastic. The best thing this thing does is voice control. So you turn on your TV and DVR, you press power. One good thing about this Comcast control is that it doesn't really use infrared. The old controls would use infrared up the front. This one doesn't. It uses radio signal, which is fantastic. So you could have this thing on a different part of the house even and change the channel on the TV. So you could actually cover up the front of this thing and still tune the TV. It's quite fantastic. So the best thing about this is the voice control. So if I wanted to go, say, to CNBC, you 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 press the um, microphone here, the blue micro, the blue microphone. You press the blue microphone, CNBC, and you'll see it will tune to CNBC quite nicely. CNN. So that's the best thing about it I can see is you don't need to go through channels. It just finds them. Lifetime Movie Network. So you can see how this is a pretty, a pretty good way to go. So what if you want to record this movie? Well, it's not too hard. There's a red record button here. Just press it. Recording a set. So now you can see that it is going to record this movie. And you can see there's a red light now on the uh, Comcast DVR. So it's recording it. So what if you want to watch something else and skip through commercials? The best thing to do is to record this stuff and skip through commercials. So what if you want to watch a movie that's on this thing? Hit the Xfinity button here. And you're going to see, okay, what movies are saved in the system here? What movies are on this DVR? So we're going to move this around and figure out what's on. What did we save in here? Let's look at recordings and see what's on our system here. There's recordings. Well, it looks like The Bachelorette's on here. And there's a movie called The Holiday, which is enjoyable. So let's play The Holiday. So we click the middle button here. You can see the time of this movie, how long it is. Um, you can resume the movie or start over. Let's start it over. And that's it. There's The Holiday. So that was recorded a long time ago. Or you can go back and see what else you want to watch. What else is saved? Looks like The Bachelorette was saved. Let's take a look at that one. There's two of them in here. So you can watch that one or watch this one. Let's watch it. There's a commercial. Oh no. Let's skip ahead like this. Hit the fast forward button and watch this. You skip through commercials just like that. It's fantastic. And then hit play. And there you go. You can watch The Bachelorette. Skip through commercials. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so what else can this thing do? Let's go back to live TV. Hit the microphone button. CNBC. Okay, now we're back on live TV. What if you want to get a guide of what's on? Hit the guide button here. Right here is a guide button. Hit that. There's the guide. So you can move up and down with the remote control. You can use page up and page down. That's these buttons here. And it's going to go page up, page down through the whole page, which is handy. I use, always use page up, page down. Or 
you can do some fine resolution by just pressing this button here for up, down, and sideways to go through the guide that way. Ice Age. There's the movie Grease. That's a really old movie. Select that one on the guide. Freeform. There's the movie Grease. Let's play it. Actually, I think it is playing. So that's kind of neat. You can also go on demand in this thing. So we hit the infinity key again here, Xfinity key. We say on demand. Movies. What movies are on demand here? Let's see. New and most popular. Okay, you can rent these things. There's some free ones on here too. But I found these are a pretty good deal. These are like $5.99 usually, and they're pretty good. Here's free movies. These are usually not very good, but sometimes you get lucky. Oh, wow. Here's the movie Gravity. This is a fantastic movie. It was on last year, and it's free. So what if you want to watch an on-demand movie? Well, you select the movie on demand, and you press the middle button here. You watch it. Sandra Bullock, it ends on 9.30, so they're saying, and in September, we can't watch this thing, but what if you want to watch it? Well, it's free, watch it. And there it goes, Xfinity On Demand, FX, Gravity. Looks like we got a commercial to go through. Can I fast forward it? Probably not, because it's on demand, right? You can't fast forward commercials on demand. So let's try it. Now playing Gravity. Nope, I just goofed it up. Sometimes that happens, you can get confused. So let's go back to Xfinity, On Demand, Free Movies. There's Gravity again. Select it. Watch. Okay, we had a commercial on here. Can I fast forward through it? May not be available. Can I fast forward? Yeah, I can. Son of a gun. Oh, not available. So, you have to watch commercials on these free movies. That's why they're free. But that's how it goes. Anyway, that's how to use the Xfinity X1 system. It's really great. And, hey, it's great watching the free movie Gravity. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, what else can you do in this thing? Let's go back to uh, CNBC to get back to live TV. Okay, yeah, the movie's, the movie's beginning here. It's pretty cool. So hit the microphone here. It's interesting. So it looks like it's not going to work. Press and hold again. CNBC. There we go. Now we're back to live TV. So I could also go like to a local channel. I can punch in 701 here, which I know is a local channel. So I'll punch in 701. It'll say, okay, do you want to go there? Yes, hit the middle button. That'll put me back on 701. And now you can just do channel up and see the other channels. There's Fox. Or else you hit the guide key again here. And you could say, okay, oh, there's the Olympics. Um, there's PGA Golf. You want to watch that? Go ahead. In fact, what's cool is if you want to watch golf in this thing, check this out. I could, I could go to some crazy, I could say CNBC here. CNBC. So now I'm on CNBC again. And now I can just say PGA Golf. I, I don't know where the golf is. This thing is so good. You can hit this microphone here, PGA Golf, and it didn't find it. What if I say golf, golf, okay, it found some golf channels, it found um, the Olympics. I guess it doesn't work that good, but it works pretty good. Um, that's about it. Turn everything off with the off button. 
I really hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and have a great day.